tell me that I make syntax sexy. I know there isn't much glamour in grammar, but there are days when I'm pretty sure it's all that I have going for me, so when I told you that I never wrote any poems about us, I lied. The truth is, I have an iPhone note full of failed attempts at describing the way your smile curves into a question mark. Your stare like a synecdoche apart for the whole of whatever lies beneath your pupils. The first two dots of the ellipsis in your eyes, how you possess me like an apostrophe. We're only two personal pronouns in a world of irrational rhetoric, but I want to be your etc. Maybe I'm mixing metaphors, but to paraphrase, you told me once that you don't like poetry. So I took a red pen to my priorities. I thought that putting a pencil to paper wouldn't impress you, so the only black ink I cared about was the kind I traced along my eyelids. I tried to be attractive. Without alliterating or articulating, but my attempts at being pretty were nothing more than plagiarism. I was redundant. Synonym for a slut, some minor character holding a drink at a party where nobody even cares if she's literate, subplot, subhuman. As my hemlines got shorter, so did the time that I spent writing, because all that mattered was that at the end of the night you would fold me in your arms like parentheses. Breathe your syncopating syllables into my ear and set me apart like a subordinate clause. Secondary. Your promise is always subjunctive, maybe if things were different. For now, I'll tell myself that it was worth it. That this ache in my chest is just poetic inspiration. I'll build sentence structure to prop up the parts of my ego that are caving in and stuff the hollows of my heart with crumpled up conversation. Because I may never learn the value of silence until 